Hi and welcome to a new video series on Google Earth Engine. In this series, I will try to start a new course. And in this courses, I will try to show you all of this application of Google Earth Engine. Mainly in this case, I will try to show you web application of Google Earth Engine. Basically, in this course, I will try to show you all of this web application and how you can easily make any interactive apps using the Google Earth Engine. So today is our first class and uh, we will continue this series. So basically when you watch this tutorial, you maintain a sequence so that you can easily understand. Okay. So today mainly I will try to discuss some function and this function will be help you to make the interactive web application in Earth Engine apps. Okay. So today I will discuss about the this function. I discuss about the UI level this function then also UI panel okay and also discuss about the map dot on click function this is the another function and i will try to discuss all of this function and we will try to make a interactive app in here okay using the using this code editor here you can see so first of all ui level so mainly ui level is used for mainly ui level used for make a text level so when you make any text level then you can use this UI level. Okay. So first of all, I simply use here the UI dot level. You can see this is our function and it means user interface level. So you can see here, this is our argument and is this argument you can see here value style and target URL. So value, you can see the text to display. Okay. And style you can make the any style just using the CSS okay suppose in this case I make a dictionary and so that I be use the two side of curly brackets and suppose I make the value and I simply put here my value is I simply use this this value is the click on the map okay and then style this is the another attribute I simply put here this style you can use here the any CSS style you can change this color if you want you can uh, increase this font size you can use any CSS style S suppose in this case I want to focus on the increase the font size so I simply use here the curly brackets and make a dictionary and then I simply put here my argument suppose my argument is font size i simply put this argument and then i define this font size is 20 pixel okay and th target url it's not needed for this time we also discuss this attribute with another time so i simply put here so i simply remove it okay so now you can see here i can simply make a text okay and this text show in my user interface this here so now I wa want to define a variable here. I simply put a variable. I can get this variable name is title. Okay. You can see here in this title variable, I stored this user interface level. Okay. And then I want to also add here the another variable. Suppose I want to make an application so that anyone can use this application and find out the latitude and longitude of a specific point okay i want to make this like this function so i want to make a variable and give this variable name is longitude or long long and also make another variable and give this variable name is lat okay so now you can see here I want to also make a user interface level 
so that this user interface level showing my this specific point of latitude and longitude ok. So, I simply put here this function ui dot level because it always printing a text ok. I simply put this ui level and then I also use here the or the same function ui level. You can see here I simply put here the all of this argument and I put UI level and now I want to show all of these things using a sidebar ok. So, you can see here there are the three different variable title, lawn, let ok and I want to add all of these things with together. So, that I want to use here the UI panel ok. So, mainly UI panel uh, it can hold other widget use panels to construct the complex combination of nested widget ok. So, you can see here here are my three different widget will be available. So, now I want to combination all of this widget and that is why I use this UI panel function. So, I simply call this function UI dot panel this is my function and this function used for the construct with complex combination of nested with widget ok. I simply put and you can get all of this argument will be available here. I simply make a dictionary and put all of this one by one ok. So, first of all you can see here this is the widget. So, this is our keyword I simply put here all of this argument one by one I make a list I simply I simply you can see here there are the three different widget will be available and now I want to use here the user interface level and uh, combination all of this widget. So, I simply use here the title and second is the lawn and third is the let ok. I simply put here and now you can see here layout it is not needed for this time I simply move it and next time when we will work with another web application then we can also use this argument ok. I simply put this and a style a style you can make any style you can use the any style you can change the color you can uh, uh, monitor or you can easily define their size ok. Suppose in this case I want to use here this widget width I can make this width suppose I can make this width is 100 pixel ok. You can see here I simply use here and then you can see here I make a variable under this variable I make a variable and cap this variable name is sidebar I can make this variable name is sidebar and now when I use this function ui dot root dot add I simply put this variable paste here and when I click to the run you can see here a new sidebar will be added in the root of this map interface ok. I also increase this width suppose it will be 500 pixel when I click it you can see it will be squared ok. Now, you can see this sidebar will be available here ok and now you can do anything with this sidebar if you want if you want suppose you can make a interactive map when you click to this map then you can show this result using this sidebar if you want you can you can easily do everything every interactive web application in this sidebar ok. So, suppose I want to make an application so that when anyone can click on the map then it will be show the show this place latitude and longitude. So, for this we also need to add the another function and this function name is map on click suppose I use this function map dot on 
click function and this function is when you click on the map it will call back your tax okay so i will make a function here so that i use the function keyword and i use give this element is the coordinate so i simply use here the chords okay so now you can see here i simply define map on click function then i simply define here the element okay and then i simply put here all of my argument using this curly bracket suppose you can see here i can simply call my lawn this variable and then i simply use here the set value function and this set value function will be added my specific lawn it can show the lawn then it will be showing the result of coordinates so i simply call this variable and simply paste here and then i simply put here my lawn okay suppose you can see here i simply use this function and set value from the map on click function okay and now you can see you can do for the same thing for the latitude i simply call the let this variable name and then use here the set value function and then i simply use here the let and then i simply use here this value i simply call this element name and paste here and then i simply put here my latitude let variable okay so now you can see here i add my value and now i also want to add when someone click on the map then it will be show a red point and then i can get this red point latitude and longitude so now i also try to add here a red dot to the map so i can take a variable suppose i can take a variable this variable name is point and after this i simply use here this function ee dot geometry geometry dot point okay and i simply put here my specific latitude and longitude so i simply call this coordinates long i simply copy this and paste here and then another is latitude i simply copy this latitude and paste here and you can see here and i want to show this user map layer okay so so that i need to add here the ui map dot layer so i simply use a variable var and give this variable name is dot okay dot and now user interface ui dot map dot layer so in this case here you can see this here in this case my e object is point i simply put put this point and then i define my the visualization parameter i define here my the color suppose in this case i put here my color and this color i want to get this red color so so this i simply use here this red color code and then i also get this layer name here this layer name is last click okay i simply use this last click and other argument is not needed for this time i simply remove so now you can see here i defined my specific point then i also defined here this point color okay and now i want to set here the layers okay i simply set here the layers so i simply use here the map dot layers function and then i define here it set with 1 then i simply put here my variable dot so now you can see here it will be set with my dot with this layer so when i click on the map then it will be show this one layer on this map okay 
So now I want to simply run this code you can see here and when I click on the map you can see here the specific latitude and longitude will be available here okay and then you can see you can get a wrong error I think we use here the wrong color code so I need to use here the that another zero okay and when I click to the run so and when I click on the map any place then I can get a red point and I can get this point a specific coordinate okay you can see this is the specific coordinate of latitude and longitude it will be accurate in this here in the sidebar okay so then you can see here this is the hand tool will be available here if you want you can also change this style and you can add here the cross here so for this it, it it is very easy so you can simply put here this function this function name is map dot style dot map dot style you can simply set you can simply set here cursor cursor you can simply set here the cursor and then you want to get here the crosshair crosshair so now when i run this code you can see this hand tool will be moved and i can get here the crosshair sign so when i click on the map and you can see here now it will be crosshair okay and when i simply click to here you can see it will be reload a layer and it will be make this red color and i can get this specific point of latitude and longitude okay so this is our interactive map web application so you can use this app for any place you can get this specific coordinate or latitude or longitude you can get any place latitude and longitude using this app application okay so here you can see i can get this point latitude and longitude and i can get this result in the sidebar okay so i hope you can easily understand how you can use this ui level how you can use this ui panel and how you can easily use the map on click function okay so mainly in this case i will try to discuss you only for this function and next tutorial i also try to discuss with another web application function in google earth engine so that you can easily make any web application using the google earth engine and use it okay so i hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you have any question then you can ask me in comment section i will try to answer all of this question okay and this is the another introduction so you can see here this is our new training session will be will be happened on the 14 15 and 16 of november you can see all of the strings from here and you can join this training session then you can easily contact this email address and whatsapp number i will gap this whatsapp and email address in my video description so that you can easily join with me okay so basically in this training session i will focus on those person who don't know any programming language okay so i will focus only those person who don't know any programming language and i will i hope after completing this training session you are able to do any remote sensing programming using the google earth engine javascript api okay so if you want you can enroll this course and join with this live training session okay so thank you for watching this video